Hey guys, what's up? It's General Heat here. Uh, and today, we're going to be going back to a glitch we did a while ago on Halo 5, and that is the dual wielding glitch. Uh, so the reason why we're going back is because ever since I posted that video, a lot of people have been asking me to make a video showing every single weapon in Halo 5 dual wielded. Because it's, it's somewhat of a tricky glitch to do, and it's not consistent. So a lot of people had trouble doing it, and they just wanted to see you know, what every weapon looks like dual wielded. Uh, you know, just out of curiosity, I guess. So, here it is. Uh, I finally got around to making this video. It did take a while because I also had trouble <laughs> doing this glitch, and it took us several tries on several different maps to get it to work again. Uh, but, you know, we finally got it, and without further ado, let's get on with this. Uh, so, let's start off with the UNSC weapons. Um, I guess. I guess the pistol will be a great start. So, here's the uh, pistol. That's what it looks like when it's dual wielded. Basically, in your left hand, you basically hold it sideways and it just looks kind of weird. Uh, what's interesting is the this pistol and the Halo 1 pistol, the model in the left hand actually is correct. Um, a, a lot of other weapons, like the variants of the weapons, in your left hand, the dual wielder weapon is has like the wrong model or is like like a, the wrong variant, I guess. But with the pistols, they actually show the other variants in the left hand. Uh, as for the rifles, like the assault rifle and DMR, um, it it just holds it like slanted, and y you can basically see. Um, What's going on with the other weapon? With the shotgun, it holds it like vertically in the other hand. And of course, when you reload it, you get it like a better view of it sometimes. Uh, the SMG is about the same as like the pistol. Uh, dual wielding in Halo 5 is obviously not perfect. It's it, it, like as you know, it wasn't you weren't meant to dual wield in Halo 5. Uh, and I'm actually not sure why this glitch even lets you dual wield weapons, but. Uh, basically, the glitch that we're using for this is the overload glitch. It's it's a pretty simple glitch to set up, but getting the actual like dual wield glitch to work that's the tricky part. Um, but if you want to do this glitch yourself, all you need to do is just spawn like a bunch of kill balls, invisible and regular. Uh, I I could explain it now, but it, it's it's easier to show you. And I've already made like a video about how to dual wield weapons. Including the entire setup for overloading the map, uh, it's. I'll probably post a link in the description somewhere. So if you want to see that video, just check it out. Or if not, you can look it up on my uh, channel. It, it wasn't too long ago that we did it. Maybe like a few months ago, or half a year ago, I think. But yeah, it's up there. Some weapons uh, work better than others when dual wielded. Uh, the spanker actually looks pretty cool because uh, you're basically holding the. The barrel of the uh, spanker, but with, without any uh, without any rockets loaded onto it. Unfortunately, even though we are kind of dual wielding this, there is no way to use the second weapon, uh, and it's pretty much useless. But it's just a cool thing to check out and kind of see how it affects every weapon. I might actually do a video of this on Halo 3 uh, because. What's very interesting is the position of the weapon in the left hand. On Halo 3, if I mod the game a little bit to dual wield other weapons like the assault rifle, in the left hand, the assault rifle will be held just like uh, how it is in Halo 5, actually. It's held like kind of sideways and, you know, vertically. So, I actually found it to be extremely interesting, uh, meaning. I guess it suggests that somewhere under the hood in Halo 5, Halo 3 is still there. And for whatever reason, some dual wield code is still like left behind. Which is why some of these weapons still work. Or which is why this dual wield glitch even works at all. Uh but you know, it like I said, it doesn't none of these weapons were most of these weapons weren't really designed with dual wielding in mind. The only weapon that actually kinda of works with dual wielding is the energy sword. You actually do kind of hold both swords somewhat correct. The, the left hand one, it's, 
it's held downwards, but it, it's all it's almost you know correct. Um, it's also interesting because the other sword in your left hand is the Prophet's Bane, no matter which sword you pick up. And you know, I, like I said, I, I really don't have like an explanation for this, um, but it's just it's just really cool. <laughs> so that's why I'm showing it to all you guys. And like I said, it was a, a lot of people were requesting that I show all these. Uh, and of course, if you hold the Prophet's Bane, it's still Prophet's Bane in the other hand. So no surprise there. Now, it would have been really cool if you could use the uh, other weapon in Halo 5, uh, but unfortunately, you can't. Now, the trick with this glitch is, like, I'm not even sure to like really describe it, but to get it to work, like, I, I've been, I've done it many times again since, and I would say, like, you could do it with two people, but I find with like three people total in the game, including yourself, I have the highest chance of success. But it's really just about persistence. If it doesn't work the first time, just keep trying over and over again, and eventually it'll, it'll kind of just randomly happen. And you know, I, I wish I could give you guys a, like a better explanation. You know, since I up uploaded uploaded the first video about this, I still haven't like really figured out why this glitch even works. Um. I mean, if anyone out there that's more knowledgeable about this kind of stuff uh, sees this and knows maybe why dual wielding is somewhat possible in Halo 5, you know, just let me know in the comments. I'm actually very interested in finding out myself. But other than that, I really don't have any explanation other than um, some parts of the Halo 3 engine are still in here. But, yeah, so continue to show you all the weapons. Uh, turrets don't really matter because you go to third person anyway so you, you don't see anything in third person anything different and I can't make it in first person so there's really no point in trying to turrets but you know everything else is pretty cool. Um, the binary rifle here is actually kind of weird. The beam shoots out like at a weird position. It doesn't actually come out the barrel anymore. As for the other weapons, pretty much the same thing. Uh, the the incineration cannon, uh, when you charge it up and you fire it, it's actually like silenced, which is also kind of weird. Uh, and I was also told the Spartan laser does the same thing too. When you charge it up and fire it, it's actually silent. Not sure why it does that. Uh, but as I also showed in the previous video that I uploaded of this, um, the when you melee, you actually don't do any damage like this. Uh, but I don't think that's like a result of the actual glitch. I think that's more of the other glitch that's going on that's making this possible. The uh, plasma rifle is actually kind of funny because if you actually were dual wielding it, you'd be pointing the left one at yourself, <laughs> and if you if you actually could fire both at the same time, it'd be uh, <laughs> it'd be kind of weird because you'd be shooting yourself basically. The gravity hammer is actually really funny. If you look at the handle, your hand's like all twisted and contorted and it's like all messed up. Like, <laughs> it's just all twisted. But you are holding two gravity hammers, kind of. Now, um, because it's a melee weapon, you actually can't use the gravity hammer, so that's why I couldn't swing the actual hammer part. I could, I could only do the... Um, the the regular melee, but it actually won't do any damage either. And that's the same with the energy sword. I actually couldn't swing the sword with the uh, the right trigger, only with the melee button. Now those were all the uh, the main weapons, but there are also other things you could pick up uh, in Halo 5, like the flag, for example. And I know I showed this before in a previous video, but I showed it again because this would be an all-encompassing video. But as you can see with the flag, you get another pistol in your left hand, and this is also like one of the most interesting uh, dual wields. It's uh, in your left hand, it's a another pistol, but it has an unknown HCS skin on it. It's a skin that you can't get anywhere else except through this glitch. And 
I believe it's some cut content, but I you know I don't I don't know why it was in there or why it never made it into the final game. Now the other thing you could dual wield here is the ball, and this one actually works pretty well. This one, um, once you pick it up, you actually do hold two balls, and it's actually held almost perfectly in both hands. Your hand kind of like phases through the ball here, but it's otherwise almost perfect. Now you still can't use the ball in your left hand, but it does look kind of cool. Uh, and once again, it suggests that there's some. Uh, maybe at one point there was meant to be more dual wielding. Because the only times you can actually dual wield in Halo 5, like without a glitch, is holding the flag. And that's it. You hold the flag in your left hand, and you hit the pistol in your right hand. But you can't actually use the flag in your left hand, if I remember correctly. If you melee, you melee with the pistol, not with the flag. So I think that's, I think that's kind of like what's going on here. And maybe like, I, I don't know, like somehow like it's, it, it, I don't know. I, I really can't explain it, like I said, and I don't want to try to make something up uh, that's not necessarily correct. And I guess the last thing here is the golf club. Uh, it's almost like the hammer, but you're, you actually hold it correctly this time. So basically the golf club is not a reskin grabby hammer, as far as I know. <laughs> But the base of it, your hand is actually holding it correctly. It's not like twisted or anything. Now, there are actually a couple more things that you can pick up in Halo 5. Anything that you can pick up will be affected by this glitch. So these uh, power-ups here, let's, uh, let's pick these up and see what happens. So it happens really quickly, but as you can see, you do hold two power-ups in your left hand now. And the reason why you're holding two in your left hand is because you use your left hand to apply the power-ups. But as you can see, you are one-handed dual wielding the power-ups, which is actually kind of cool. And I believe these are the only things you can use your left hand with in Halo 5, so I don't think there's anything else you could uh, one-hand dual wield with. But yeah, so that's everything that you could pick up in Halo 5, and that's basically everything dual wielded in Halo 5. So I hope you guys found it to be interesting, uh, and for those of you who weren't able to do this glitch, I hope this uh, shows you what every weapon looks like dual wielded and if you guys did like this make sure to leave a like of course uh, and leave thoughts and comments if there's anything else you want me to show you guys or any other videos you want me to make just let me know uh, and as always if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and I will see you guys next time